What's up, being a crew? Today I'll be showing you guys how I achieve one of my favorite soft and simple glams, so stay tuned. My bitch love Coco. Woo back, baby. Woo back, baby. This is a look and learn type of tutorial, so I won't be talking as much, but everything will be clear for you to see. Now, before we get into it, make sure you subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into it. To start off today, I'm going to be using my NYX brow gel, which was highly requested that I use. It is something that dries very quickly, so you do need to work fast when you're using it. Tip number one, I tend to use an angle brush because it does make the application a little bit more smoother. When using this product, I tend to use my spoolie a little bit more just so I can spread the product evenly throughout the brow. I use two different shades of concealer when I'm concealing and I'll be using the brighter one for the lower arch of her brow and I purposely use the light concealer shade on the bottom because when I use Tarte I also use it as a base for the eyeshadow. Now you don't have to do this step if you're not doing eyeshadow you might want to use a concealer that's closer to your skin tone. What most people fail to realize is that they're holding their brush the wrong way. Um, the way I conceal, I choose to hold my brush flat and horizontal, and I move in the steady motions from the beginning of the brow to the end. I'll be using my Warrior palette from Juvia's Place. And these are the main three colors I'll be using. I'm applying my eyeshadow. I make sure to move in a padding motion throughout the eyelid. Make sure you're not dragging the shadow or you're gonna create harsh lines on the lid. You wanna make it easy to blend out your other shadows if you choose to do so. Now I'm going to be using one of my favorite pigments from J. La Rue Cosmetics in white gold. I just tap this over the lid and then I spread it out with my finger and that's all. I don't need any adhesive or anything. I'm not the best at eyeliner, but I'm surely getting there. But this is an eyeliner from NYX, and I find that it just guides me a little bit better since it's angled. You must really take your time when you're doing eyeliner, especially when you're working on clients with different eyelid shapes, because if you go too big, the eyes might look too small, or it might just mess up the whole look. So I have to be really careful for that. So I start off with the thin line and then I make it bigger if needed. A big shout out to Bees Beauty Barkle for sending me these 100% mink lashes. Now, if you know me, I never promote false advertisement. These lashes were long and they were very cute and full as you can see. So make sure you check them out on Instagram.
Now, foundation doesn't always match people perfectly, but as long as you come back when you're concealing and blended in properly, it should all match the neck. When I'm applying my foundation, I make sure I tap it in in a circular motion. Please make sure you blend in your foundation where your chin and your neck meets, please. My goal is to make my client's makeup last for a long time, so I use the Black Opal Translucent Powder to set the makeup in the foundation. And I brush in swift motions, getting around her whole face, and I make sure to get the eyebrows as well. Now I'm gonna use the exact same concealers I used to do her eyebrows, but I'm starting with the lightest concealer first and I am going to highlight under her eyes. Then I'm going to follow with the more darker shade of concealer with her cheeks. Now before blending, I make sure to dampen my sponge and I just use my setting spray to do that. I make sure to blend upwards so I start with the lower portion of her cheeks with the darker shade of concealer and then I move my way up to the top where the brighter shade is. This just helps with not mixing the concealers and it also helps with highlighting her facial structure. Now I'm taking my favorite contour sticks from Juvia's Place and I'm telling my model to suck in her cheeks so I can see her cheekbones and that's where I'm going to put the contour. Now I was blending crazily but when initially when you're trying to blend your contour make sure you're blending upwards. Now to get baked by Bina, I'm using my Beauty Bakery setting powder in cassava. I place it under her eyes, then I get below her cheekbones, then I get her chin, and I spread a little of the product on her forehead just to set that concealer perfectly. Now, if you're trying to ball on a budget, you do need to get this palette. It can be found in Walmart, your beauty supply, but I'll just be using the contour to powder contour her cheeks, her nose bridge, and also under her chin. Now, I'm using some finishing powder to remove that excess I flatten my brush as I move closer to her eye just to avoid her tearing up. And once again, I'm just gonna set her face.
I'm using my Juvia's Place Loose Highlighter in Royalty. And I asked my client to smile so that I can highlight her cheeks. Then I'm using the same brush I used to dust off the excess powder to blend in that highlight to make it look more natural and subtle instead of harsh. And for one of the last steps, I'm just going to be doing a lip combo where I'm using a black liner that I blend in. I'll be also using my NYX Butter Gloss and Fortune Cookie. And then I'll finish it off with a top coating of clear lip gloss. The most important step, I am using my misting spray to set the makeup. And we'll be right back with the final look. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.